welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here hello my name is Nika thank you so much for stopping in so today let's talk about being confident versus conceited so pretty much it is what it is when you're confident it's just like you get a, a, a glow that comes from the from your inner core it's like you know that you can do something but you don't have to put everybody else down to do it you know that you're beautiful you don't have to you know, try to be the, the most popping person in the room. You ain't trying to, if you go to like a, a, a party or a, a meeting or something with your girls or your guys, you're not trying to be the best dressed. You're not trying to, you know, pull out all the money every time y'all go somewhere, all I'm paying for it because you got the money. You're not doing all that. You just walking in a, a different type of air, an air that is confident that, okay, if my friend doesn't have it, I'll spot them. Or if I'm going somewhere elegant or going somewhere where I just want to just look nice or be comfortable and, and still look nice and classy and put together, you show up that way. You don't have to be this, oh, everything, all attention has to be on me all the time. Because that comes off as being conceited. If you're like, oh, I look the best, I got the most money, you're talking down about your friends. I, I've had, I've been in friendships like that where, where I had a, a girlfriend who was just like, well, you know, I would, you know, invite such and such, but she always broke and we always got money and all that kind of stuff. And it's just not cute, you know, coming off that way negatively because you don't know what's going on in people's lives. And for you to have that type of attitude and, you know, that type of air about you, it pushes people away, really. It doesn't make people draw to you. That You could be the most confident person, but if you're overdoing it and trying to prove that you're just this confident well put together, well rounded person, it, it it pushes people away. They start to see the opposite in you. You may feel confident, but a lot of times you may be coming off insecure because you're trying your best to force people to see what you should naturally show up and be. I don't have to force you to see that I'm a black woman. So I don't have to be out here talking, oh, I'm a black woman or put it on uh, African clothing or, you know, dressing eccentric or, you know, just being, oh, I'm just black and proud all the time. You can look at me and tell that I'm a black woman. So that's how it should be with your confidence. You should be able to just show up and show out and not even do it on purpose. You should just, you know how to do something, you know, like you know how to do your job. I love it when people come to me and say, can you train this new person because I know that you do well at your job. I know that you do good in this area. It makes me feel good because it's like you acknowledge that I know what I'm doing and I also know that I know what I'm doing. So it, it's just a different type of confidence. When I'm training that person, I'm not like, mm, this is what you do. Oh, you did that wrong. Mm, you need to. I'm not like that. I'm like, this is how you can do it. This is what you do. And I let the person learn. That exudes my confidence in what I'm doing. And that person could be confident that they're learning from me. They can be confident that I know what I'm doing and that once they are let free and to doing, you know, the job on their own, they will be okay because I trained them. Now, if they were with somebody, if I was one of those people, one of those, those women or, like I said, people in general who is just like, no, you're doing that wrong, move, I'll just do it. Or, you know, that type of attitude. First of all, that person is going to look at me like you're rude and disgusting. And then second of all, that person is not going to feel confident that they can trust you. So let's try to work on coming off confident in ourselves in every area, whether it is your job, your, your parenting, your, your physique, you know, what you look like, you know, what you're wearing, anything. Let's be confident in it and not conceited. You don't have to be out here trying to, you know, make sure that you're one up in the next person. You know that you're going to a business meeting, so you're trying to make sure you know all information. And, and then when somebody's trying to talk, you're trying to cut them off. Oh, no, that's not correct. Oh, this is, this is really how it should be done. Oh, no, 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 no. I've been in jobs like that as well, too, where people have at like team meetings and stuff, you may say something, they make you feel stupid because they're like, no, I know my job. I know that's not what you're supposed to do. Oh no. And they're not even hired. They're a regular coworker like myself, but they're so conceited in the work. I mean, some people get so airheaded, like so like they head inflates when they, when they learn something, it's like, we're supposed to be learning something every day. And it should be, it's great that you are excited about knowing something or, or being able to do what you do. But you shouldn't let it take over you to the point where you're just coming off 
rude, nasty, and just hard to be around. We like people who are confident, not people who are conceited. We don't want to be around you if you are talking about you're better than or you got this and you got that and you're talking about somebody else or you always got to show, oh, I'm not wearing that because it's not name brand. Oh, I'm not going coming outside because I ain't got my hair done. I need, to, I need to get the most expensive weave. I need to go out and get the most expensive uh, body care or whatever. Are you telling somebody... You know, I just do it with myself. Let me teach you how. Uh -uh, I gotta, I gotta have my professionally done. I had somebody like that in my life before too, cause I'm a DIY girl. I'm a single mom, so y'all know how it is. I prefer to cut corners where I can. If I know how to do it myself, I just do it myself. And I had a friend before who was talking about she wanted to get her nails done, and I was like, well, it was really simple. Like I can paint them for you, or I can just tell you how I do it. I do it myself. And she had like a whole beef it <laughs> because she wanted, she didn't want to hear that and, and absolutely not. She would never be caught, you know, trying to do her own nails and stuff. It's not the same as when she goes to the spa. And, you know, like nobody wants to be around that kind of person. You know, it, it, we want to be around people who, like I said, can walk in their own air and still be pleasant. People who can, who can take knowledge or learn something new from somebody else. People who can help somebody else without putting them down. People who can be in a room full of beautiful, handsome, attractive people and still feel like they belong there and not feel like they have to pick out somebody to, to put down so they can boost up their confidence. It should be natural. You should not be trying to compare yourself to anybody. If you are a confident person, you don't need to be comparing yourself. That's just how I look at it. If you're confident in what you are, who you are, what you're doing, comparing yourself is a waste of time because you you have you you already feel like you are enough. You already feel like you you have the the talent and the beauty and the attractiveness and you know things like that to just to to continue pushing on to what you're trying to do in life. But if you're sitting back on the sideline, trying to point at everybody, oh look at their shoes, look at their hair, I would never wear that. You're not confident, you very insecure, and very conceited. So y'all let me know what you think about this conversation. Put your comments in the comment box below. We will keep the conversation going. I'd love to hear what you all have to say. Let's be polite and courteous and, you know, be respectful of one another. And, you know, we'll talk next time. Bye.